What is going on, everybody? I hope you're doing fantastic today. Here we are with uh, CC number one, the Operation Pyrite store guide, okay? So, first and foremost, if you like this video, if there's any comments, questions, concerns, if the video or the audio is not great, let me know so I can work on it and fix it. Again, this is still something I'm new to, so uh, without further ado, we're gonna talk about what to buy, what not to buy, and unlimited money, unlimited experience, but we'll get into that. You have to watch to find out, okay? Contract bounty, that's what we got for CC0, and any that you did not spend will carry over to this store, okay? Now, daily missions will provide a 145 bounties per day if you complete all the missions, okay? That is risk eight and the combination contracts that they want you to use permanent stages oh sorry if you do all 13 days because day one and day two are the same if you do 13 you will get 1885 okay and, and that'll come into play here in just a bit also that means for the metal my metal video you have you can only miss three days um Except for day one or two. If you miss day one or day two, that's fine for the medal. But you have to complete ten of the daily mission. Uh, like, completely complete them for the one medal. Okay. Anyways. Permanent stage missions provide a total of 2,240. Now, that's if you do risk 18 plus all the contract bounties. Okay. So, you'll see videos on all of those coming up. First clear rewards for new daily stages are 100 each, and there are two new stages, so that's total for 200 new. Total possible contract bounties is 4325. Okay. Total cost of clearing the new cross season store is 2800. That does not con con uh, include anything from the last CC. Anything that was still in your permanent store does not count for this okay total cost of clearing the season one store which are the limited items 3275 for a total of both stores 6075 which you cannot do because you only had 4325 right so you're left with 1750 that that you don't have so we're gonna go over what you should buy what you shouldn't buy but there is not enough for both, okay? Shop efficiency. Now, the, the manganese trihydrate, polyester lump, and the grindstones, okay? Those are all very good for sanity versus CC coin, okay? Um, a, a, along with the RMA and the Akitan. But you have to decide what you, what you need or don't need, right? If in the previous event you just grinded a Keaton like I did, that might be something I choose not to get. These yellow experience, unless you need experience, I would suggest not doing it, right? Unless you need the experience, I wouldn't go for this because you're actually you're not even at the 1.0 mark for the sanity. Now don't get me wrong, it's better than anything in the unlimited, but would you rather have one yellow XP? Or an RMA for nearly the same cost. An RMA, okay. So, um, back up here, furniture parts. If you don't like furniture, skip these, right? If you don't want to miss sets, this is something I would pick up if you are big on it. Now, I like collecting limited stuff, even though I don't see it. So, I'm going to be picking up the furniture parts. LMD, always pick up LMD. Polymer prep, depends on how much you have of it, okay? And the sugar packs, again, you you do have to kind of decide which, what you need, but I would definitely say pick up all the, the purple, the, the manganese trihydrate, the polyester lumps, and the grindstones. Even if you have a bunch, I would pick them up. The RMA, pick them up. A Keaton, I might not, based on what I want to do with the limited store, okay? The unlimited items, you can buy as many of these. The RMA. Um, it's a decent buy. 
but I wouldn't go too much with the unlimited items unless you're not gonna buy the skins or the um, furniture from the permanent store the chips unless you need them I wouldn't do it not at all the LMD even though it's unlimited unless you need it and you've already cleared the limited store and you need the money to upgrade something to complete a contract I would not buy this uh, that goes for everything with the unlimited maybe the RMA the sugar pack if you from months ago almost six months ago seven months ago there was an event that had the sugar packs I still have some left over right so unless it's something that you need I would not buy anything from the unlimited the unlimited store LMD if you need it RMA if you need it maybe if you want to stock up but even then um, I'm not gonna choose to do so but your polymer prep right two four eighty so I'm gonna leave this link in the description I'm not gonna go through each individual one with you but just as an example right on the unlimited store that these aren't even counted and you don't have enough already to buy everything so um, that's for those there I'm gonna jump right into the store here now I've already picked up the skins here for invisible Dirk um, uh, Manticore sorry about that and this is a metal so if you want the metal I don't know if you can get this metal later on if if during the next CC and you then buy it I'm not sure if you can get that metal so I didn't take the chance I went ahead and purchased it the Babique and the news girl are from the last event now if you already if you were playing and you got the news girl Amiya or the uh, specials planetarium um, I believe this is a perfumer you would save you would have 600 extra so I'm gonna also buy this skin here okay um, so that's gonna leave me 300 down again because I didn't have it in the first place and again I like limited items so I'm gonna pick them up the banners I don't even, I, I, are they furniture pieces? Or, yeah, they're, they're to decorate the dorm. I'm gonna pick them up just because I want them. Now, to be fair, you don't need them during this contingency contract. It is in the permanent store, so you can pick them up later if there's stuff that isn't uh, as good of value, um, or if you need stuff this CC to upgrade people, right? So you can skip these, you can skip the skins. If you want the, the metal, I would, I would pick up the um, Manticore skin just in case that metal goes like you can't pick up that metal later but you should be able to I'm gonna be picking up the Royal Vanguard tokens um, that's a free upgrade on a six star Vanguard um, so probably I'm gonna use it on um, bagpipe for me because I picked up a bagpipe but let's go in here right pick up your polymer prep pick up your grindstones your mag manganese your polyester lumps okay pick up your armies a Keaton if you have a whole bunch this is something that you can skip sugar pack you can skip LMD pick it up no question about it right um, the the XP I'm gonna pick these up these are one of the XP's I wouldn't skip but it's not a great value so so I might save it till last right furniture parts save till last but it's something I do want but that's it for the that's it for the store for the like limited store or the un well yeah the limited store now you have the unlimited store which you can just go buck crazy on if you choose to unless you need these chips to upgrade somebody to beat a level don't do it you can farm these when there's no CC devices polyketon orion polyester sugar or rock cube again I don't think that any of any of them are worth it the only unlimited thing would be RMA or LMD that's it um, unless you specifically need something to level up the Ori rock cube let me show you um, a few months back there was a event where if you farmed a level you had a chance to get bonus uh, sanity I went out and farmed about 2,000 I've only gone through 400 this might take care of me for a long 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 time right but so the RMA I have 80 but I'm still gonna be picking them up okay um, but like 
polyester packs? I have 100. I have 164 of the polyester. So I don't know how much of the, the sugar, right? So the Akitan, look, I just farmed 130 of them. Because I, I was sitting at like 7 or 8. I just farmed 130 during the last event. So, yes, down below below you'll have the link to this the sanity cost and the efficiency of each of them but first and foremost pick what you want it's a game enjoy sure efficiency is nice and you want to make sure that you buy the stuff that's worth it but pick what you need leave what you don't but ahead of that pick what pick what you want not not need not don't need pick what you want okay if you want to spend all of it on LMD and then go to the LMD for the unlimited, you can. I think it's a terrible buy, but you can. It is unlimited LMD. So if you want to stack up. But again, if you just look as you play the game, I have 2.5 million LMD. Now that will go quickly if I if I start leveling people up. But just when you're not doing the content contingency contract i don't level anyone up i don't worry about it because i don't know who i'm gonna need for the next contingency okay like for example what if you can only beat a level level if you have ifrit there are some levels where she just she will beat them herself okay so keep it for like an ifrit what about a meteorite i don't know why but what if okay jatano what if you needed to level her up or I can come all the way back over. My bagpipe, my shining, my Scotty, Astesia. Okay? Like, save it when you don't need it. Now, if you don't have your, like, if you don't have a Saria or you don't have your Saria level up, level up Saria. Anyways, <laughs> that's going way too far into everything. Um, uh, this is about the store. Again, first and foremost, buy what you want, then buy what you need, then, I mean, Avoid the stuff you don't need unless you want it, right? So, um, that's it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Leave any comments, concerns, questions down below in the comments. Leave a like if you did enjoy or if this helped. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to continue with Arknight news as I get into Cyberpunk 2077 as well. But until then, until the next video, keep calm and game on.